Welcome back to the Inquiries of the Illustrious Idiots. To be precise, this is the Chaos game. Somebody screwed up. Uh, yeah, I did screw up. Well, the last Fate session has the Chaos title on it still. Cool. My bad! That's cool. It'll be fine. It's yeah. not a big deal. Mm. We're missing two people. This is why I need crew. This is why I need crew members. Dang it. Not a big deal. Okay. You can tell we're missing two members. Yes. Matt's, we are missing... Matt's in Illinois uh, because that's where he lives now. Yeah. And, and Dave, Dave is Castle. too drunk to stand straight. Rails and Ales, whatever the hell Yeah, the Rails and Ales is, Festival. Uh, it was, was today. today and I survived. He drank entirely too much. Yes. All right. Last session. It's going to be obnoxious. By the yep. way, everyone uh, did level up. Level 11, if you haven't done that yet. I actually have not. Can I have a book? And a pencil. Go ahead and do that. Book is. Yes to both. Oh, there. God. Yeah, I'm behind. Um, books, two of them. One more. Uh, the books. And the beholder is dead. Yay! Yay! When last we left off. Chaos group has found has found the a second shard. piece of the Pearl of Abbot. One of their overarching primary quests as of right now. When they found it, a couple of things happened. Well, one of them, of course, is that everyone leveled up. Fought a big nasty creature. Some people almost died. And a giant fucking mecha three showed up. And oh, we'll, we'll get to that. But a beam of light came out of the piece and awakened Bark. Bark is oh, yeah. now speakable. Is now it's like, hey guys, I'm Bark. How are you Bark doing? Is now hey man, how are you doing? <laughs> and has been running around excitedly talking to everyone, you know? Naturally. Saying how cool you guys are. How he loves you all. It's good. And Rand, of course, super excited. About this. <laughs> <sighs> and then there was some rumbling that got increasingly loud. Rumble, grumble, bumble. And the three mechs show up. A mech. Three mechs show up. Because everyone else knows what that is, but my character doesn't know what a fucking mech is. It's a mech. Right. Yep, <laughs> yep. Point their guns at everybody. And the one in the middle. <laughs> Gets out and and steps down. Steps out. He has, I believe, he had uh, vibrant neon green type hair with a mustache and everything. So you're saying blue, but yeah. Was it blue? I th I remember blue. He has a very colorful. Here. It's it's vibrant. I was, we'll say green is fine. I'm actually fine with it being blue. Blue. We'll do blue. Whatever it was before. Norton. Bright and vibrantly done hair did. <laughs> um, blue. And he asked down. all of you your names, mm -hmm. and he was about to introduce himself, and then session ended. <sighs> and that's where we start now. As he begins to introduce himself as uh, Grimble, or technically his full name is Gerbo Grimble Glim Garrick. People usually just call him G. Or Garrick, just because it's easier. Whichever one you would prefer. And as he is. As he is, is, is introducing himself, Zara, he's kind of hanging out by Rand, a little off to the side. Mm -hmm. um, his lantern become like begins to like flare, flare out, and he's investigating it with Rand and Bark. You know, they're kind of together, and uh, there's this flash of. 
arcanish light. Black light looking. Black it's, light. It's, it's it's black. Yeah, it's kind of like the um, you know the 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 black gem lightsaber in the Star Wars. Fuck yeah. The Force Unleashed games. Uh, it's kind of like that, and the light. Like whenever the orb goes away, Zara, Rand, and Bark vanish. Are not there. Fuck. Bark is gone. And I want Bark. Garrick looks really confused by all of this. Oh, um, clearly. What, what was that? He says. That that was Bark and Zara and Rand. Mm, okay. They're gone. Where'd they go? Damn it. They're useful. It wasn't us. Yeah, they're useful, by the way. I promise it wasn't Good us. people. They are good people. Okay. As are we, but... So... Did the guild send you all? Give me a perception check, sir. Well, okay, you'll all see this. When he steps out to um, kind of address you all, he has on his, he's, he's just wearing like a, a suit of coveralls, a set of coveralls, mm -hmm. and there's a patch on his chest <coughs> that is, it's circular, and there's a, a tree that looks like it's made of like gears and machinery. And it says on it, uh, G A I A S, Gaius. It's a follower of Gaius. Uh, not necessarily. Anyone? Does anyone have history as a skill? No. Otherwise, you can make an intelligence check. None of you have a know two in history. That would be a disadvantage. But let's see what you know. Um, I I am proficient in history, actually. Cool. You still have disadvantage. You got it all. Because I don't know him. Because you don't know him. Yeah, that's right. Because I don't know him. Yeah. Seven. I rolled a one. <laughs> okay. I rolled a one, so it doesn't matter what I fucking that's, roll again. That's fair. One Did means a seven is my low. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, none of you have any idea what that means. Gaius. Uh, you are familiar with Gaia, who's the god of life. Yeah. And, like, plant and Guy is the Earth Mother if you follow Wicca. Well, not in my world. Um, There's no Wiccas here. No Wiccan. And he... Yeah. So, uh, we have a little bit of a problem. We Do were you? sent here, we were part of the uh, Anarok Antiquities Investigations Acquisitions and Safeguard. Are you an incorporation? Gaius. Gaius. That's what this is. And he, like, kind of points it out. Uh, we were sent by Archdeacon Barduck to acquire the piece of the Pearl of Adam. It seems you've beaten us to it. And well, a phenomenal job you've done. We have been... whatever that was. We have been contracted by the guild to do our job to the best of our abilities. Uh, yes. Them. Uh, them, the guild, yeah. We're working for them because they pay us money. You know, money's great. Do them? They have. Thus far. They haven't in a long time. Well, of course, to be Good fair, point. We have not been, been home been in a time. good long oh, while. Um... Do you already have the box, like, locked up and everything? Popped it open, dropped it in, popped it closed, okay, hidden. Of course it did. <laughs> Naturally. This box. So, we need to, uh... It's not really easy to say this. Who, who has the piece? The securest person who has it safely is carrying it in the most safe manner possible. Okay. 
That doesn't answer my question. Well, I can't answer it more accurately than that. <laughs> so you're like, like starting off in the space? <laughs> Tiefling is trying to be as friendly as fucking possible. <laughs> <laughs> One of them is. Oh well, yeah, this this Tiefling. <laughs> Are you gonna say anything, Connor? You good? I don't know these people. Sorry. Some shady gnomes showed up. Out All of right. Nowhere. So one of you. It's clear one of you has it, or it would be somewhere out here. Uh, we would have. You We would appreciate that. You sent us here. Uh, you'll know the best opportunities for, for us. For this, yes. For we, this, not we us. We already have two. Whoa. Um, with the pieces. Whoa. And we are safeguarding them in our tower. Good. There's no way anyone can get. Clearly, you show up in these giant statues and uh, shit. But we wouldn't like for you to accompany us and speak with the Archdeacon. We would appreciate the Archdeacon's company. He likes to cut the balls. Hmm. Do you have any questions before we continue? What is our means of travel? Oh, uh, you can ride with us. <coughs> so we can ride! Yeah, there's three of you, there's three mechs. There's room for one extra person for magic. So you can, uh, hop on! Hop in there. If you would like. Are you going? I'm with you! No, thank you. I prefer rolling. Uh, okay. So you're going to meet us there. Okay. Are you, are you getting in one? I'm going to stay with him. Obviously, <laughs> he needs help. <laughs> Obviously, he needs help. Okay, so Leas is the only one hopping into a mech. Uh, hopping into a mech. So, uh, that's fine. It is what it is. Turk. Hey. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, Garrick tells you to just follow. Well, uh, would you want to play D &D to tonight? just follow the path. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, that thing. Right. Yeah, sure. And they kind of go ahead. We just started like into five minutes ago. On the way back. Into the end of. Right. Uh, All right. It cool. obviously takes you. Longer. All right. See you there. And uh, just a black cave that only dug out. Yeah, it's just lots a, of darkness. It's just a big cave. Yeah. We'll be here about 15 minutes. Oh, cool. That's excellent. Well, I'm just gonna trip. I don't even know if I have the character sheets. Trip somewhere. Unless we got Barbarian's easy mm -hmm. then. Just better we've jumped up like six levels since yeah. last yeah. time we played. Yeah. We're gonna have to power boost him. Can I see his uh, character sheet? Oh, I don't know where it is. Oh, okay. We'll get it later. Yeah. Can I see a character sheet then? Because there are uh, several points in there. Don't. You're helpful. No, I really don't. I mean, it's fine. Anyway, point yeah. is. Yeah, you keep going. I'll get hold of it. You're taking into. Yeah. Leas, because you're going to get there first. Yep, because I'm hanging out with this guy. Yes. Can I make a uh, perception or intelligence check on understanding what the fuck the thing I'm in is? Yeah. You sure can. Perception give me, or give intelligence? Me an, give me an arcana check. Arcana, cool. It's probably right up your alley. Uh, this is all the bad guys. Uh, Twenty. Okay. Twenty. Twenty is good. For the 20, you'll know that this mech, which by the way stands for Magic Enhancing Construct, <laughs> uh, 
It is controlled by a, uh, a series, like, whenever you follow Garrick up into the mech, yeah. he pulls out these two um, wands that kind of look like keys. Mm -hmm. And in this chair that he is, uh, that's kind of centered in the middle of his neck, there are these two two openings, and he sticks the, the, the wands, wands in it, turns them, and this magical glowing interface comes out. And he starts manipulating it, A HUD. and it and it <laughs> and it continues forward. Cool. You take it to Ganrock, and Ganrock is set up as a. Fibonacci swirl? Is that what it's called? The Fibonacci sequence is the... Yeah. Uh, it makes like a... Huh, yeah. yeah. And it, of course, the outer wall kind of spirals in, and in the very center of the city is this massive clockwork gear, like almost writhing with all of the movement in it, uh, tower, this enormous tower that spans from the very bottom of this, this opening all the way to the top. Where it seems to be secured to the uh, ceiling through some through some means or another. You are led um, through a couple of gates. There's the, the first gate. By the way, um, Garrick leaves word at these gates to allow to you in. And uh, you go through about three gates. And you're led into and through the town square to this enormous hangar, where when you go in there, there's like uh, there's not a lot of them, but there's probably about ten total of these enormous constructs. And setting near the end of this hangar, in front of this table, is this little gnome guy. Um, he has white hair, kind of an older, like, clearly an older gnome. But one of the things that you notice about him is that he has his normal arms, and he has two robotic additional arms. And there's a, uh, he's wearing some kind of like backpack thing, and from it, are six tendril arms, kind of like Doc Doc suit, but, but with six instead of four. And he is like putting together this, it looks like some piece to one of these constructs. But he's putting it together and like all, all of his limbs are working, doing different things. He's putting it together incredibly quickly. You can tell that he is a very powerful individual because you are an arcane individual yourself. I see um, that. You can tell that he has... Magicalness all over him. Ridiculous amounts of it. He totally ignores you. Anything, yeah. Uh, and I'm like, hey, are, I'm Ickley! And he just There are two... They park, the, the, they park the mechs and they all kind of pile out. And of course, you know Garrett because you rode with him. But out comes two other gnomes. One of them is male, one of them is female. Uh, introduce. They're introduced as the Turin couple. Their their husband and wife. Some badasses traveling with uh, us. The woman's name is Tana. Tana Lily Turin, and. Uh, the male, his name is Brock. Brock, yeah. Brock, Brock Warren Yaddle. They have long, they have many names. Many names, at least three, sometimes more. <laughs> she goes by T, he goes by <coughs> T. T and B. Brock, you notice, has uh, a lot of trouble opening his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Trouble over the eyes. Uh, I just had to go there. I'm sorry. 
Pokemon. Ah. You walk down the hangar. And by the way, at this point, the two of you are probably at the second gate. We saw anything in interest? Um, you do notice as you pass into the first gate, right, that there are a lot of buildings. This is the sort of first section is heavy market type area where you have a lot of different race types. Death elves, dwarves, orcs, even some orcs, not a lot of orcs, some orcs. Uh, even, even a gobbler or two. They trade with anybody provided that you know, they don't they're civil. That they're civil about it. Passing through the oh, and in in the market area, you see a strangely empty spot that has a sign up that says "reserved for Spence Coffee Shop." Of course, he passes through there sometimes. But through, 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 through everywhere, through the second gate, you actually notice that there are far fewer non gnomes. There's lots of. There are still other types, but they're they're not. Jeremy's here. They're fewer yeah. by far. I know. Did you find Herc you right found here? Herc. Oh, you found Herc. Wait, really? Yeah. He was somewhere, I'm sure. I, I know I didn't throw it away because I never throw away like, character shoes. There's a, there's a reason to do that. Yeah, it's called the Magic Islands. Uh, oh, you're uh, Right there. And you're kind of continuing on. Leas and Garrick, and then of course T and B approach Barduck, the Archdeacon. And he is just in, he's so engrossed in his work, he does it. Plus, it's loud because it's he's got like t ten limbs doing all kinds of various lifting and adjusting and tightening and all that kind of thing. What the hell in here? Oh. Hey! What's up? What's, how's it going, man? Uh, Garrick kind of cleared his throat. <laughs> And all of the movement stops. <coughs> and he kind of turns around to face you, you, Leas. Yes. Uh, you notice that uh, one of his eyes is like he has a big scar, a big nasty scar on his face, and one of like that eye is robotic. It's all like golden and clearly mechanical and stuff. Yeah. Jeremy's here. He's back. It's been a long time, dude. Uh, this is still chaos. This is chaos. Yeah. So. Oh my God. So we found another piece of that pearl of Alvin. I heard a little bit about it before. He, do you remember that pearl of Alvin that he found a long time ago? Yeah, we found the second piece, the second Dragon Ball. Yeah. Uh, and now we're in the we're in the middle of a city, and the owners of the city have two more pieces. Yeah, uh, I'm. So I'm in the middle of making sure your character sheets up to par. There's a camera. 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 There's a yeah. microphone. We're streaming on Twitch right now. Yeah, there's yours. Oh, yeah. yeah, we're live. Yeah. Internet. <laughs> yes, we are. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Just for the free beer sense, because so like, that means they're like they're getting paid. Um, all right, let's. Uh, you are. Um, how, how much time we got? Uh, Thirty seconds. Okay. We'll go ahead and continue this in the next bit. He's leveling her up for you. I I got it covered. Barbarian's real easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you want to go ahead and stop recording real quick. There's a on on the OBS. There's stop recording. Yeah. Yep. Just, that. just hit that, and we'll go into.